the drivers of the Porsche GT3 Cup Challenge Middle East return to the La Salle International Circuit for round four of the championship. Thousands of local motorsport fans have come to witness the debut of Qatari hero Nasser Al Attiyah, Olympic medalist and winner of the Rally Dakar. Oh, it's fantastic, you know, it's very nice to drive this uh, GT3 uh, Porsche. And uh, we are so happy with uh, all the spectators here, you know, today. Zayed Ashkanani from Kuwait secures pole position. The car was perfect from the start of the weekend, so uh, we are happy with the result. On second position, reigning champion Clement Schmidt from Austria, followed by Charlie Friens from the Netherlands, who delivers a stunning qualifying lap to start from third. That's yeah, great, we, we timed the qualifying perfect. P3, let's hope to get it in the race good. A jump start by Zayed Ashkanani forces race control to investigate the incident. Nevertheless, Ashkenani controls the field with Clement Schmidt behind him and Saudi's Abdelaziz Al Faisal on third. Well, the start was really good. They managed to overtake uh, Charlie. I lost my place in the first corner. I was in fourth. Another mistake by Friens makes him lose several positions. Went in the grass and uh, everybody passed me. Lifting up the Skydive Dubai Falcons cars into fourth and fifth position. Al Nabudu Racing's Clement Schmidt is under constant pressure from Abdulaziz Al Faisal of the Saudi Falcons. And fights hard to keep the second position. In the second lap, Abdulaziz tried to pass me and we touched with the cars. Racing incident, you know, I didn't affect him and he didn't affect me. Meanwhile, Fahad Al Ghosaibi from Saudi manages to overtake UAE's Syed Al Mahiri, claiming fifth position. I was uh, fighting with the uh, Sky Dubai team and uh, it was really, really a lot of fun. We had a lot of action. A fierce battle unfolds in midfield between Christina Nielsen from Denmark. Saudi's Faisal bin Laden and the two cars of Team Bahrain. As bin Laden tries to overtake Christina, the cars touch and Christina ends up in the gravel, unable to continue the race. It is what happens when, when you're racing on the limit, which we all are. Fahad Al Ghosaibi battles against the Skydive Dubai Falcons with positions changing constantly. Towards the end, you know, I was just pressuring, pressuring, pressuring. Finally, you know, I got the chance to, to go into fourth place. Kuwait's Zayed Ashkanani crosses the finish line first, but suffers a 20-second penalty for his jump start and falls back to fourth position. Clement Schmidt of Al Nabuda Racing benefits from his main title contender's mistake and takes home another win. Say it helped with his jump start, but to be honest, he's the true winner of the race. He was the quickest for the race. Abdulaziz Al Faisal of the Saudi Falcons takes second place after a strong performance. Second's my first uh, this year, so uh, uh, there's only one more podium step to get, and hopefully we can do that. On third position, Fahad Al Ghosaibi from Saudi. Yeah, very happy with my performance. Nasser Al Atiyah of Team QMMF wins the silver category in his first race, finishing a very credible 11th overall. It was really uh, completely different from Rally, you know, but really I enjoy a lot and uh, I'm quite happy to finish uh, the fairest race in, uh, in my life in the circuit. 
Clement Schmidt leads the Drivers' Championship by 33 points ahead of Zayed Ashkanani and Abdulaziz Al Faisal. In the team category, Al Nabuda Racing heads the table, followed by the Saudi Falcons and the Skydive Dubai Falcons.